This leaked video is reportedly taken by two friends somewhere in the United States. Their dog Jake starts to bark with excitement and really doesn't seem to want to go any further. Watch how the animal crosses directly in front of their snowmobile multiple times, almost like he's warning them to stop and turn around. The two friends don't really think much of it and keep going straight, and that's when they come face to face with it. Holy A nearby tall grey creature sends them racing away. The alien-like creature doesn't make much of a sound at all, or at least not one that the camera can pick up, but I do think I can see its head turn towards them at the 2 minute and 20 second mark. The way the dog is acting before this happens also makes me believe this leak video could be real. On 3830 McMahon Road sits a lone white house which, at first glance, looks rather unassuming, but is actually a source of otherworldly evil, a place so foul that not even two separate exorcisms could fully cleanse its walls. Over 800 Native Americans are said to have lost their lives in the surrounding hills against federal forces, many of whom are thought to be buried under the Hinsdale House, fueling its foundations with anger. And that's just the beginning. Sometime in the 1800s, two outlaw brothers used this New York property as their sick trophy room. They would go after stagecoaches and left behind no witnesses. The bodies were mostly kept in the attic or left in the basement without a care. Outside, more lives were taken over the years at a pond and also at an old tree at just the right height for a rope, which was later struck by lightning. Nowadays, the heavily haunted Hinsdale House has become a location for ghost hunters like John and Amanda of Elevated Vlogs to explore whatever secrets lie within. John and Amanda are amateur ghost hunters without much paranormal experience, so their reactions are about as raw as it gets. Their night begins with a tour from the house's current owner, a man named Daniel Clays, who spared this house from getting demolished in 2015. He seems to have formed a truce with the spirits in return for saving them. The way he talks about his experiences, the more activity their camera catches around him. There's definitely something that's sinister, maybe darker, that comes out once in a while. But you, your best thing is to just ignore it and move on and go do something else. We were just standing in the kitchen and we had a camera on ourselves and, and uh, they were talking about the exorcism this, exorcism that. And Daniel leaves them to explore the house on their own. And just kind of do a little explore before we sit down anywhere and... Did you hear that? They also hear this noise, the sound someone makes with a hand over their mouth. But he said he has experienced somewhat of a something dark here. Experience, experience. They enter the room of Mary Dandy, the youngest daughter of a family who lived here during the 1970s, and find bugs on their backs, legs up an odd characteristic that the room has become known for. An entity has attached itself here, something foul enough to attract flies and send them lifelessly to the floor without its presence. Or maybe these flies were placed here by Daniel to fool John and Amanda. Either way, the activity only seems to increase ever since standing in Mary's room. I think something runs ahead of them down the stairs into the basement. Maybe the final steps of someone trying to get away during a terrible event. Most people that check this place out will come with a team. Oh yeah, I'll go down first so you can show them this really cool... Did you hear that? What was that? And when they try to communicate with it, a scared little girl's voice comes across the airwaves. Are you okay with us staying here tonight? They decide to head back into Mary's room. Again, their spirit box picks up the same crying girl as before. Are you okay with us being in this room? Can we sit here? And this is the third time they pick up her voice. Definitely the same girl the whole time. Are we safe? 
She's following them from room to room, and maybe behind her is the sinister force that Daniel warned them to stay away from. They decided to check out the attic before they get too scared. Remember what I said about the attic earlier? Sure enough, John feels a strong hand wrap his arm to pull him forward, followed by a supernatural confirmation from a gruff male voice. Dude. I'm not even playing, man. Did someone touch John's arm? Like, no lie, it felt like there was just something wrapped, like a, a, a... Dude, that sounded like, yeah. They flee downstairs to regroup and find they can no longer leave. Something's outside. John. Oh my I god. I literally heard something outside. I'm not even messing around. Dude. Did you hear that, dude? No, I know. It sounded like metal tinging. I don't hear it, but I do see it. Look again, it's a ghost caught on live stream. And even though I didn't hear it earlier, I do hear chains rattling during this part when they get closer to the door. What's that noise? There's nothing left to do but wait it out in the Hinsdale house. After a night of fitful sleep, they decide to explore the hillside before getting out of there fast. They're still afraid from yesterday's events, but it's their job as paranormal investigators to keep going no matter what. So with their spirit box out, they wander into the woods. Within minutes, they record a voice. I hear three words. I need help. Then they hear a familiar voice, the same one responsible for grabbing John's arm in the attic. We're coming into the darker part of the woods here. Would somebody like to speak with us? Oh. oh. Yep. That was definitely a male voice. And this part is either Amanda's voice edited in, or else somebody is humming a creepy tune right next to John. <laughs> The forest is dark and cold. I agree with John that this is a different language. We're in the middle of the woods. There's no, there's no uh, electrical display. They come to a part of the woods that's particularly eerie for no reason at all. It's just a feeling they both have. That's when they realize the reason for their fears could not be directly underfoot. Did you die here? The thought of communicating with the other side has always made me uneasy, but speaking with someone while standing on their unmarked grave, as elevated vlogs seem to have done, takes that uneasiness to a whole other level. Michael Eidelstein recorded this bizarre encounter with his phone in 2016 to show that it was haunted, and many people have agreed with him ever since. What's really weird is how this phone apparently waits until Michael is almost finished recording and then hits a completely different number, followed by two sevens and an asterisk. I can't say for sure if this is paranormal or not, because it could just be a glitch or maybe even water on the screen. Let me know if you've ever had anything odd like this happen to your phone, and if you are a phone technician, tell me what the odds are of this happening to such a wide variety of buttons at once. A YouTuber named Sean Daywood is playing outside with his younger friend Ryan when a stranger comes out of the woods, and instead of ordering them off of her property, she demands they come closer to her. Here, she holds onto Ryan's arm and pulls him in when he tries to resist her grip. A much larger man comes out of the woods and backs up his wife. Then the woman turns around and simply says, come on, as if she expects Sean to follow. When he says no, she makes it clear that she will take him by force. What do you mean no? You want me to fight you? Sean tries to assert his right to leave, and she tells him that he is basically being held against his will. We're leaving right now. Come on, Ryan. He's not leaving. When she gets within grabbing distance, Sean feels completely overwhelmed, and he and Ryan run. Who even knows what these adults were up to, or if they were even the property owners in the first place? 
For all we know, they could have been random strangers looking to do who knows what in the middle of the woods. Russian YouTuber Eugene from Dark Mystic captured something in his home. Let's take a look. First, it shows up in the darkened window behind him. Did you see the figure moving in the window? Then, while inside, he hears something. Nobody answers. Later, as he's capturing video under a crawl space, another disturbance is heard. Then, in the shed, he sees two glowing eyes. The eyes disappear. Do they belong to whatever phantom is causing such mayhem in his home? Or was all that racket caused by a cat or other animal? But then again, what about the figure in the window? I think Eugene should look into this further to find out what exactly he's dealing with. This place is terrifying. YouTuber Terror Alex Streamo encountered tons of paranormal activity at this haunted playground. First, they hear children's voices in the darkness, and then they see a swing swinging on its own. Next, another childlike voice is heard. No manches. No manches. Then something bangs against the roof above. And the children's voices are heard again. Es muy lógico, ¿no? O sea, no está haciendo bastante aire como para que esté moviendo de esa manera. No, pues no está haciendo aire, hijo. And again here. Y mira, ahorita está como sin nada. Finally, they capture something visible on camera. Later, another figure is moving through the tall brush. I'm not sure if the figure is a child, but the voices throughout the video definitely sound like it. Is this a case of the urban legend of black-eyed children? I wouldn't get near enough to find out. Has anything creepy ever turned up on one of your home videos? YouTuber Tink spotted something that stood her hair on end while watching hers back. See if you can spot it. Did you see it? Something scurries past beyond her shoulder to the left. Watch closely. Let's see it again, more slowly this time. Tinks says she was home alone at the time. I feel like it moves too quickly to be anything of this dimension. Is it something from another world? Let me know what you think in the comments. A person is filming a strange aircraft outside of their home as it performs mysterious maneuvers that they've never seen before. Steady speed, drop down, now he's dropping.
There's not a single cloud in the sky, yet the airplane appears to be blinking in and out of existence. It completely disappears after a while and never returns. What strikes me as odd is the sheer number of comments from YouTubers who claim that they were searching for the exact same thing after they had seen it flying around their home. Everything from UFOs to new cloaking technology has been suggested. I'll leave you with a different video of the same type of plane, this time taken years later. There are tons of these kinds of videos floating around, and they seem fairly legitimate. Let me know what you think. You head outside for a nice peaceful evening stroll when you encounter this, posted to TikTok by Daniela Duque. The uploader says in the clip, Something happened that changed my life, check. The clip shows at least a dozen people all dressed in white, wandering down the empty street carrying torches. It's not clear what's going on here. Many in the comments are saying this looks like the set from a movie. Others suggest the horror film Midsommar. While some think this group is cult-like, perhaps performing a ritual. Still others consider this is more likely the purge. Are you ready for it? I'm not. There is a church in Brazil where many have reported hearing screams and seeing dark shadowy smoke. A priest is said to have passed away here. YouTube team Fatos A Mysterios heads to this haunted church to investigate. Inside they find an altar. Olha esse altar. Pouco, né? Será que tem algum túnel aqui embaixo, mano? While near the altar, they hear this strange sound. And later, they spot him. He is kneeling at the altar with a candle lit. As the crew comes closer, something startles them. What was that? I'm not sure, but it doesn't scare the crew away entirely, and they end up encountering the priest one last time. What would you do if you saw this figure in a dilapidated, abandoned church? To me, the figure appears too solid to be an apparition, but that begs the question, what is it doing here in the darkness? Coupled with the creepy sounds, its presence is more than disturbing. A YouTuber named Herb Doggy is diving underwater when he sees a small cave that looks interesting. In less than a minute, he is being chased out by something that's not even human. A giant moray eel slithers out of its hiding hole and appears to chase Herb Doggy away, though I'm not entirely sure. I would like to know how territorial these creatures are, and if they really would chase someone away. I'd also really like to know if this was an electric eel or not, in which case I totally understand why Herb Doggy was in so much of a hurry to get out of there. There's something lurking around this haunted place, shared by TikToker The King Horror. The kid who saw it with his own eyes cried in fear. <laughs> After racing far away from the place, they turn back, and then they see this. <laughs> this hooded figure is something nightmares are made of, and he's the perfect villain for bedtime. What secrets does this witch's cemetery hold? Dennis of YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal is about to find out. He first comes across this disturbing shelter guarded by cow skulls. 
А вот это интересно, что такое? You hear something nearby. He says voices are heard here. Вот. С этого... С этой штуки? Вот с этой постройки. Доносятся какие-то голоса. He sees a face in the structure. Камера вижу, а... Так смотрю, нету ничего. Будто бы чье-то лицо. Вот, два глаза. To me, this does look like a face, but it seems to be pareidolia. But later, he hears this through a paranormal device. Then he finds this unnerving collection of butterflies. His paranormal device again relays this strange sound while in the body's presence. О, блин, мне даже страшно двигаться. Я хочу отсюда убежать. And again, this scary whistling noise is heard. The noise grows even more terrifying. I don't think Dennis should stay here any longer. The butterflies would have sent me over the edge, but that last sound is even more unnerving. Demons reside in this house. Published by Spooky Gotham in May of 2022, the ghost hunter heads inside to explore and is presented with some unruly activity. While he's outside of the demon house, he hears something inside. Totally, yeah. And when he heads inside, it's made clear that he's not alone. Listen closely. Gotham continues to look around while the demons follow. He then hears what sounds like footsteps. And then something is wailing in the distance. He finds bare footprints on the floor. They look fresh. The demons get louder. Should he stay? It looks like the demons are inviting him to leave. If I were him, I would heed that warning.
In wandering around this abandoned building, strange apparitions appear everywhere. Published by Clip Hantu, this scary video is like the Where's Waldo of creepy figures. See if you can spot them all. Notice this thing on the ledge wasn't there a moment before. It looks like a head of hair or a wig. In the next room, you see a dark figure in the corner. As the camera swings back, it's disappeared. And with the flashlight turned on, you can see the room is completely empty. In a kitchen area, there's a pot on the counter at first. Now there seems to be a split in the clip, but the next time we see the same counter, the creepy object has replaced it. That thing looks like a shrunken head. Have these items been placed? Or is this the world's worst treasure hunt? The first and third items do look to me like they were placed. There is a cut in the video in each of these instances, but that shadow figure, that's harder to explain, makes me think this place is truly haunted after all. A YouTube channel called Proving Demons seeks to do just that with the help of a mystery box on eBay. Proving Demons and his assistant travel to a well-known haunted house in the area and hold the unboxing ceremony there. Three items in particular grab their attention. An antique bell, an old necklace, and a wooden box with a pentagram on top. Using an EVP box, they hold up each item one at a time and ask each spirit to say the name of the item they are possessing. Tell me if you hear the same thing they are claiming to hear during this part. There it was. Said necklace again, clear. They do the same thing with the antique bell and seem to get another positive response. Then they decide to ask the spirit for its name, but only receive an old woman's laugh in return. That sounded like an old lady's laugh. And when they try to do the same thing with the pentagram box, this is the single word reply. It certainly seems like whatever is haunting this house doesn't like what's in that box. While communicating with lost souls in the witch's mirror, YouTube team Toppy's session gets dark. Nastia explains where the mirror comes from. And she begins the ritual. It sounds like something wants out of the mirror. And a shadow falls on the wall beside Nastia. The whole team comes and through a spirit box they ask if someone is there. After communicating with the spirits for a time, they leave a still camera in front of the mirror and this is what they capture. What is this strange dark haze? Is it the spirit? I think it is. If I had to guess, I'd say this witch's mirror is a portal to the afterlife, one that shouldn't be tampered with. All of the other rooms of this abandoned church on Long Island look normal, yet the chandeliers on the middle floor are going crazy. Jay Brennan claims to have seen shadow figures all over this video too, so be sure to tell me if you happen to see them. Just the fact that he isn't willing to go inside at all shows exactly how creepy this situation really must have been. 
The lights continue to go on and off. For some reason, at the 3 minute 35 second mark, they seem to get even more intense, almost like they are feeding off his mortal energy just from standing so near. He returns the next day to prove that this church really was abandoned and no longer in service. After all, no active church would leave their courtyard in such a state of disarray. But that's not all. Jay Brennan did some major research on this church and discovered that it had three separate fires and was struck by lightning twice. He provides the links in the description of the video so you can read them for yourself. Maybe these flickering lights were caused by one of the spirits from the cemetery next door. Jada Blaze has accidentally caught something mysterious while taping a house in Denver, Colorado that she now suspects is haunted. Take a look at what she claims is a real ghost sighting caught on video. Okay, here is the finished product. Here's this room. Here's this room. Something strange can be seen floating over her shoulder, and then whatever it is mysteriously disappears. The unexplained footage seems to show an object rapidly disappearing and reappearing in many different places at once, totally defying the laws of physics but not those of the paranormal. The creepy sighting was a ghost figure to her, and I wanted to know what this bizarre moment was to you. If you were thinking this was a dust particle, think again. The house just received a deep cleaning and is completely dust free. That means it's either special effects or something supernatural. Help me decide which. Hannah Atkinson is excited to open her eBay mystery box that she has bought for just under 20 pounds. Inside are a variety of trinkets that Hannah seems genuinely happy to receive, but then she comes across a bottle of sunscreen that I personally think is a little odd and suspicious. And it's taped at the top um, with the same tape that's on the box, so not too sure what that's about, but that's fine. Hannah has no use for the mysterious taped up bottle since it is winter time in the UK and she decides not to put it on. I guess this bottle could truly just be some leftover sunscreen from someone who wanted to give it away, but it could also be filled with just about any kind of chemical you could imagine. Let me know if you think this was a legitimate bottle or some kind of trap devised by an online sadist. More importantly, let me know if you would have been brave enough to test the product with your own skin. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.